Nysora videos. Like all other Nysora simulators, the Vascular Access Subclavian Vein Cannulation Simulator comes in a custom design box, which is convenient for carrying and storage. On the custom tray, there are clear labels as to which part of the body the simulator belongs to. Clear instructions for use are also provided, and all anatomical landmarks and abbreviations that are featured are printed on the label that accompanies the tray. The tray also contains an image that demonstrates proper probe position and needle handling in order to access the subclavian vein. To begin practicing, apply a generous amount of gel on the surface of the simulator. Before sonographing, it is important to increase the ultrasound gain because of the difference in the simulator material and real human tissue. In this particular example, we see the actual image obtained by the Nysora simulator. We can see the subclavian vein on the top and subclavian artery on the bottom. The needle is inserted in plane to reach the subclavian vein. In this example, we are using a smaller needle gauge for the purpose of extending the life of the simulator. In actual practice, an 18-gauge needle would be appropriate. Here we can see the needle approaching the subclavian vein and then the withdrawal in order to assume a steeper angle in order to actually reach the vein. This process requires a great degree of practice before approaching an actual patient.